George Alexander Trebek O.C. slash T.R. Beck slash July 22, 1940 to November 8, 2020, was a Canadian-American game show host and television personality. He is best known for hosting the syndicated general knowledge quiz game show Jeopardy! for 37 seasons from its revival in 1984 until his death in 2020. Trebek also hosted a number of other game shows, including The Wizard of Odds, Double Dare, High Rollers, Battle Stars, Classic Concentration, and To Tell the Truth. He also made appearances, usually as himself, in numerous films and television series. A native of Canada, Trebek became a naturalized U.S. citizen in 1998 for his work on Jeopardy! Trebek received the Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Game Show Host eight times. He died on November 8, 2020, at the age of 80, after a 20-month battle with stage 4 pancreatic cancer. At the time of his death, Trebek had been contracted to host Jeopardy! Until 2022. Early Life Trebek was born on July 22, 1940, in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada the son of George Edward Trebek born Tarabaychuk, a chef who had emigrated from Ukraine as a child, and Lucille Marie Lagachi, April 14, 1921, 2016, a Franco-Ontarian. Trebek had roots in Renfrew County, Ontario, where his maternal grandmother was born in Mount St. Patrick near Renfrew. Trebek grew up in a bilingual French-English household. He was almost expelled from the boarding school that his parents sent him to. Shortly after, Trebek attended a military college, but dropped out when he was asked to cut his hair. Trebek's first job at age 13 was as a bellhop at the hotel where his father worked as a chef. Trebek attended Sudbury High School, now Sudbury Secondary School, and then attended the University of Ottawa. He graduated from the University of Ottawa with a degree in philosophy in 1961. While a university student, Trebek was a member of the English Debating Society. At the time, he was interested in a broadcast news career. In 1973, Trebek moved to the United States and worked for NBC as host of a new game show, The Wizard of Odds. A year later, Trebek hosted the popular Merrill Heaterbob Quigley game show High Rollers, which had two incarnations on NBC, 1974 to 76 and 1978 to 80, and an accompanying syndicated season, 1975 to 76. In between stints as host of High Rollers, Trebek hosted the short-lived CBS game show Double Dar, not to be confused with the 1986 Nickelodeon game show of the same name. Double Dare turned out to be Trebek's only game show with the CBS network, he returned there in 1994 to host the Pillsbury Bake Off until 1998, and the first show he hosted for what was then Mark Goodson Bill Todman Productions as well as the second season of the syndicated series, The $128,000 Question, which was recorded in Toronto. Trebek married broadcaster Elaine Cowley in 1974. They had no children, although Trebek adopted Cowley's daughter Nikki. The couple divorced in 1981. In 1990, he married Jean Curvin, a real estate project manager from New York. They had two children, Matthew and Emily. In 1996, Trebek ran the Olympic torch in Jacksonville, Florida, through a leg of its journey to Atlanta. He became a naturalized citizen of the United States in 1998. On January 30, 2004, Trebek escaped major injury after falling asleep behind the wheel of his pickup truck while driving alone on a rural road in the central coast town of Templeton, California, returning from a family home in Lake Nacimiento. The truck sideswiped a string of mailboxes, flew 45 feet over an embankment, and came to rest against a utility pole in a ditch. Trebek was not cited for the accident and returned to work taping Jeopardy! Four days later, Trebek owned and managed a 700-acre, 283 hectares, ranch near Paso Robles in Creston, California, known as Creston Farms, where he bred and trained thoroughbred racehorses. His Colt Reba's Gold is the stakes-winning son of Sluo Gold. Trebek sold the operation in 2008 and the property is now an event center called Windfall Farms. In a 2018 interview with Vulture, Trebek said he was a political moderate and registered independent, neither conservative nor liberal, with some libertarian leanings. Trebek stated he believed in God as a Christian. 
During a 2018 gubernatorial debate, Trebek said that he was raised Catholic during his childhood and adolescence. Health On December 10, 2007, Trebek experienced a minor heart attack at his home, but returned to work as scheduled in January 2008, early in the morning on July 26, 2011. Trebek injured his Achilles tendon while chasing a burglar who had entered his San Francisco hotel room, requiring six weeks in a cast. Trebek experienced another mild heart attack on June 23, 2012, but was able to return to work the following month. On December 15, 2017, over the winter break of Jeopardy! Taping, Tarek was admitted to Cedar 1997. Tarek was awarded the honorary degree of Doctor of the University, D. University, from the University of Ottawa. I, in addition to awards for Jeopardy, he received a great deal of recognition shortly after Trebek's death, Jeopardy. Contestant and future host Ken Jennings, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, and Wheel of Fortune hosts Pat Sajic and Vanna White were among those who paid tribute. On the November 9, 2020, episode of Jeopardy, as a tribute to Trebek, then executive producer of both Jeopardy! And Wheel of Fortune Mike Richards, visibly emotional, opened the show with this statement. I'm Mike Richards, the executive producer of Jeopardy! Over the weekend, we lost our beloved host Alex Trebek. This is an enormous loss for our staff and crew, for his family, and for his millions of fans. He loved this show and everything it stood for. In fact, he taped his final episodes less than two weeks ago. He will forever be an inspiration for his constant desire to learn, his kindness, and for his love of his family. We will air his final 35 episodes as they were shot. That's what he wanted. On behalf of everyone here at Jeopardy, thank you for everything, Alex. This is Jeopardy. Sadly, Alex Tarek passed away on November 8, 2020, but his legacy lives on through the countless episodes of Jeopardy and the impact he had on the lives of those who enjoyed his work.